Hey all, it's Riley. Um, so, I just wanted to show you guys something. Um, you've seen my collection. Um, if you haven't, then you know there are a couple of videos showing off my collection at a couple of different stages now. Um, so you've seen how many books I own. You see my hauls and what I bring in, and uh, so you kind of have an idea of the volume that I bring in uh, of books each month. But uh, how much of that am I actually reading? Now, I do mention a lot when I get my hauls, like, oh, I've read this one before, and I bought the collection, or I sold the issues to buy the collection. But um, even before I started this channel, I had a pretty decent stack of books that I hadn't read. And uh, so I just kind of wanted to show you guys what this looks like, everything that I own that I have not read. Um, first of all, everything that I own that I have read is still on the shelves. There's shelf here, shelf here, shelf here, shelf there. Um, now this stack of books, it was standing upright just a second ago, but it kind of slipped and uh, fell against my uh, window, so I'm, I'm grateful that it didn't break through. I should have been smarter and put it against the wall. But uh, this is my stack of books that I haven't read. This is stacked from the floor, and it's almost as tall as I am. I'm not that tall. I'm 5'7", but that's 5 foot 7 inches of comic books that are stacked up that I haven't read. Um, why do you have so many books you haven't read, Riley? Well, I've got a really crappy attention span, and when I'm at home not working, I tend to spend that time on the internet looking up information about other comics that I haven't read, uh, and posting crap that I probably, you know, shouldn't be posting, and I don't get around to reading my books. So, let's just take a look at what it is that I have here. Starting at the bottom, um, I've got a stack of Marvel Omnibuy. You can see these are kind of teetering because uh, they're going that way. Uh, not too worried about it. I'll pick them up in just a minute. But uh, yeah. Fantastic Four by John Byrne Volume 2. That came out a while ago. Volume 1 was awesome. I can't wait to get to Volume 2 because it's got the stuff with She-Hulk in it. But uh... Yeah, I've been putting it off for a while. Infinity Gauntlet. I've read Infinity Gauntlet proper, but I haven't read about half of this book because it has all the tie-ins from, like, Spider-Man and Hulk and whatever. Iron Man by Michelini, Leighton, and Ramita Jr. Uh, this one, I've read one story. I, I think just the uh, Demon in a Bottle is the only thing in here that I've actually read. Um, really awesome story. Bought the Omnibus. Haven't gotten to it yet. This has been out for a long time. Invincible Iron Man by Kurt Busiek and Sean Chen. I know absolutely nothing about anything in this book, but... I mean, Busiek is a good writer. Chen is a great artist, so uh, I thought I'd check it out. This is the uh, post-Heroes Reborn stuff. Spider-Man by Roger Stern. I've read a good... I want to say a third of this stuff. I'm probably... Uh, overestimating that, but I, I've read like the uh, Hobgoblin material in here, which is really awesome stuff, uh, but I haven't read the rest of it, and the Hobgoblin material is some of my favorite Spider-Man stuff, so I can't wait to actually get to that. Uncanny X-Men by Claremont, Volume 1. Um, I've read about half of this because I had the uh, Marvel Masterworks paperbacks, and then I never... I, I bought the volume and never got to read the other half of it, um, but I actually have plans on that, and then while I'm mentioning it, I've actually read Uncanny X-Men Volume 2, about half of it, because I've read Dark Phoenix and the uh, Days of Future Past books, and then I have read this one, but what I wanted to say is that this, 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 and this, and that, and that, and that, all these oversized hardcovers for the X-Men books, and then a couple of paperbacks up here, I'm actually waiting on, uh, I'm going to do a big marathon read-through. I've got everything else that's not collected, um, I've got on my computer, and I'm going to read from, like, X-Men number one and read everything chronologically. Um, 
so I'm kind of waiting for a couple more things uh, until I buy a couple more of the oversized hardcovers that I've missed out on that are already out, like Fatal Attractions and uh, Bishop's Crossing. And then I'm waiting on the uh, Inferno prologue volume before I start that. So anyway, moving on. Um, Punisher Max Volume 1. Uh, I found it at a half price books and I decided that I was going to hold off on reading it until I could make sure I found, I believe it's volume five, which is hard to find, uh, for a good price. So, uh, that's why I haven't read that one yet. Messiah Complex, I actually got that one pretty recently, but I'm debating whether I should go ahead and read it as part of my big marathon or if I should read it before then because this would, you know, that's pretty late on in, uh, the marathon. Uh, but also I kind of want to read the rest of Brubaker's run, so I'm debating if I should wait until I get Rise and Fall of the Shi'ar Empire before I do that. Um, Rocket Raccoon, Guardian of the Keystone Quadrant. It's a pretty short one. I should read that soon. Incredible Hulk, Big Things. It's the end of the Bruce Jones run. I'm probably going to read that maybe next. Runaways, Complete Collection Volume 1, She-Hulk by Dan Slott 1 and 2. I've read a small chunk of the first one. I just lost focus and didn't continue. Spider-Man Complete Alien Costume Saga Volume 1 and Ghost of the Past. I'm going to read after I finish the Roger Stern omnibus because they directly follow that book. Here's the few X-Men books I was talking about, Skinning of Souls and the two Road to Onslaught volumes. Uh, those three are going to be part of my marathon. Magneto Testament, I'll read pretty soon because it's short. Uh, DMZ Deluxe Edition by Brian Wood 1 and 2. I'll get to those eventually. Ex Machina 1 and 2. Uh, Constantine Hellblazer. I have volumes three, four, and five. I've read about half of five, I guess, because I've read the Ennis material, but I haven't read the rest of it. And then I've read the material from volumes six and seven, but I never read the last arc of uh, Ennis's run, The Rake at the Gates of Hell, so I need to read that. And then I read Lucifer volume one, but I never got around to two and three, and four is out as of like yesterday. Uh, Swamp Thing by Brian K. Vaughn, Volumes 1 and 2. JSA, uh, Volume 1. They just announced Volume 3, so, you know, I, I have some time, but I'm hoping that maybe I'll get to read that before the second one comes out. Teen Titans by Jeff Johns, Omnibus. This one I was supposed to read a while ago to do a video for, and I read maybe a fourth of it, and then I just lost focus, but I'll get back to it. Batman by, uh, Munch and Kelly Jones, uh... Yeah, I'll get to that. Batwoman, This Blood is Thick. This is a thinner one, so I'll probably read that pretty soon. I've read Nightfall, but I haven't read the new editions, and I thought I'd go ahead and make my stack bigger by sticking those in here, because there's a lot of material within these three books that I haven't read. Um, and I really realized that yesterday when I realized that Vengeance of Bane is in here, and then a little while ago I realized that Prodigal is in here, and those are two story arcs that I have not read. So I'm going to have to return to this stuff pretty soon. Uh, Bruce Wayne Murderer and Bruce Wayne Fugitive. I was waiting on Murderer until the, like, the fixed edition got shipped out, and that came out, and then I got Fugitive, and I still haven't read them, so yeah. Volume 3 of, and the final volume of Brubaker's Catwoman run. Uh, volume 1 and 2 were really awesome stories, so I need to read Volume 3. First three volumes of the Starman Omnibus. I don't know if I'm going to read those and then start ordering the last three, or if I want to order the last three and then start reading them. Still haven't made up my mind, obviously, because I haven't read any of them. Crawl Space by Rick Remender. Uh, Fifth Beetle, the Brian Epstein story. Uh, that's one that I'm probably going to read pretty soon, because I don't think it would take that long for me to go through. And then Fatal Deluxe Edition Volume 1. I was kind of waiting on the series to end, and now that it has, I don't have much of an excuse to not read it. Um because I have access to all the issues. So yeah, that's uh, that's everything that I haven't read. And then guess what? There's going to be another like five or six volumes coming in the mail uh, sometime next week that I haven't read. So yeah, uh, I have a lot of work that I need to do. And that's not even counting the, uh, the comics that I have downloaded on my computer, like all of that X-Men stuff. And I have every issue of Ghost Rider and every issue of Swamp Thing, and a bunch of other stuff that has not been collected before. Um, and I haven't read, like, any of it. Uh, but I keep getting more stuff. And that's, uh, you know, that that's what it's like to be me. You just have a bunch of stuff, and you haven't done it. And I've been wasting my time. Instead of wasting my time on these books, I've been wasting my time catching up on Mad Men. Um, 
because I totally needed to hurry up and do that because the, you know, the season is starting like next week when actually, no, it's not, if you know anything, it's not coming back until sometime next year. So, uh, yeah, not much for me to, uh, get worried about, but, um, yeah, I, I have a day off today and that's why I'm kind of screwing around and just BSing about this stuff because I'm giving myself a hard time because there's so many of these books that I could just open up. Like I sat down and I decided like, let's get down to business. And I read in the past couple of days, I've, I've topped off two of the books that I've been holding on to for a while, Godzilla Awakening. And I just got the, uh, Thanos, uh, infinity revelation. So I literally sat down on the toilet and read that entire thing in one sitting. Um, maybe TMI, sorry, but I don't know about y'all, but that's where I get the most of my, uh, really intense reading done is in the lavatory. So, um, yeah. And obviously there's no signs of me slowing down because there are tons of awesome, huge volumes coming out in the near and distant future that I'm going to be buying. And yeah, so there's my stack of stuff to read. Um, I better get on that. I still have like 20 issues of stuff that came out yesterday that I need to read. And then I've got this stack of Lord knows how much material this should last me. Like if, if the world was ending and comics stopped being produced and, you know, I didn't have access to get, you know, any more stuff that could last me for a good long while. Um, of course, you know, read re-readability is important, but you know, that, that's like, this is like my uh, apocalypse bunker of, of, uh, reading material. This is, this is stuff that could last me through the apocalypse and, and maybe like until people start like writing and we get printing presses back again and they start, you know, producing new volumes and stuff. Um, that, that would last me through that entire affair. Um, yet I keep getting more. I feel like if you've ever watched extreme couponing or whatever, and the people, they don't need any more food, but they, it's like, they know that they can get it for like extremely cheap prices or free if, you know, if not free. Um, so they just keep going out and like doing all this extreme couponing and like they keep a million coupons for all this food that they don't need. And then they go to the grocery store and they, they buy like, you know, a million tubes of toothpaste and a thousand rolls of paper towels and, you know, a hundred energy drinks and 500 breakfast bars and a bunch of crap like that. And then they get home and you think like, why would someone need that much stuff? Like, do they have a family of 15 grown men that are all like cutting wood every single day and they come home and they need to eat like Thanksgiving dinner for all three meals? Is that's what happening? And it's no, it's just some middle-aged woman, you know, who has nothing better to do with her time or her, you know, family's money and her husband. And then there may be like one five-year-old daughter. And then she takes you into their basement and she's got her freaking apocalypse bunker that's filled with like shelves and shelves of food that they're never going to need. And they probably waste a lot of stuff that spoils. And every once in a while you get an episode where they're like, I'm using my powers for good. And I'm going to, to donate all of this food that I'm buying today, all of this like $5,000 worth of groceries that I'm going to get for like $5 and I'm going to donate it to a homeless shelter. And that's really awesome when they do that. But I will tell you, having spent a lot of time not reading comics and watching extreme couponing on Netflix because I was being really lazy and had nothing to do that day. Most of those people don't do that. Most of those people take it all and they put it in their bunkers or they shove it into their children's closet and they give their kids no room to 